now that we have that, there's some, so we're working with um, the EV rendering engine. So there's different engines and cycles, different ways of rendering your scene. So the simplest, the fastest, and probably the best way for a lot of situations is EV. There's also cycles, which is a lot more expensive. And this is simulating every single ray of light and like tracking where they bounce. So it gets, it, it's very realistic, but the problem is it, uh, you need a powerful GPU or you need to use Blender enough so that your mind can interpret this, <laughs> which is kind of disorienting. So we're just gonna stick with the EV engine. So there's some settings in EV that you can just check to instantly improve your scene. The first one is ambient occlusion. This will add more realistic shadows to your scene. Bloom, this will really make the, the scene pop, just adding some, some glowing effects. And now that I've added that, I think maybe the... the light is slightly too strong. So I'm just going to take it and move it back just a tad. Okay. Um, also, you can check subsurface scattering right here. If you open that up, samples, this will, how many times it's going to evaluate how the light passes through your object. I'm gonna increase this to 12, just to get a few more samples in there. I'm gonna check screen space reflections under volumetrics. I'm going to check volumetric shadows just to get more realistic shadows. And then under shadows, I will add a high bit depth. So just a little bit more detail. Under color management, this is the last one, you can change your look. So let's say you want more contrast, but you don't wanna to have to fidget with adding more lights. You can just select the level of contrast that you want this to be evaluated at. So I'm gonna choose medium high contrast. And I think that's already looking much better. Okay, so uh, um, the other setting that we can change here is if you click on your camera up here in the outliner section, you'll see that a new tab appears, which is a picture of a camera. If you click on this tab, you'll get different properties for your camera. So one thing I don't like about this scene is that we have all of these objects, one's really far away, one's really close up, but they kind of all just look like they're all just there in front of you. So I wanna get a blur effect to make it so we can see depth in our scene. So I'm just gonna check this depth of field box right here. If you open that up, you will see that we have some options to adjust this. So you have focus on object. This will allow you to choose which object in your scene you want to be the focus of, of your camera. So you can click this eyedropper and then just eyedrop the object. So I'm just gonna choose this carbon that's right here in the foreground. You'll see nothing's changed. That's because the, under the aperture tab, our f-stop is really high just by default. So you can make this much, much smaller. So for example, if I just decrease it to 0.4, you'll start to see some blur. So you can now tell that this really is further away. But I really want to increase this blur just for a specific effect, making it look like the scene is underwater and that we're really, really zoomed in. So I'm gonna change it to 0.04. And you can see now we have this um, really intense um, glow. The other thing I'm gonna change, just that I notice now is my light, I think is shining a little bit too much through my protein. So I'm just gonna move it up so that it's just hitting these um, disordered loops on the top of the MHC. There we go. So now we get this a little bit more glow there. Okay, so. That's the end of um, section or of part five, which we're um, working with the EV settings.